Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, got a, a few more pieces to the puzzle here, and uh, we're going to jump down a little bit of a rabbit hole here, so let's get into this. Um, surfing the news today, and I came up uh, upon this article in the Wall Street Journal. Of course, everything will be in the description box, so feel free to research further on your own. Uh, the title of this article on the WSJ was U.S. Backs Bahrain Royalty Varying Playbook on Revolt. So basically what this article goes on to discuss is that the Obama administration has basically said that you know the Egyptian people need to be free, they, they need to be able to revolt, um, the Libyan people need to be able to revolt, you know, they, they, they need to have their own government of the people, etc., etc. But the Bahrain people really shouldn't be revolting. And uh, we're, the U.S. administration is going to back the, the Bahrain royalty, which is the Bahrain government. Now, if you're like me, the first thing you might say to yourself is, well, who the heck is Bahrain? Okay, Bahrain is a small island nation that's right off the coast of Saudi Arabia. And the, uh, I, I don't know if it's, I want to say the capital, maybe it's not the capital, but the main spot in Bahrain where the protest action has been going on has been Manama. And uh, you may not be totally up to speed with it, but apparently there's been thousands of protesters there, you know, every day since all this Middle East stuff started. And... Manama is also happens to be where the U.S. Fifth Fleet is permanently stationed. So, that's what's going on over there. Uh, Bahrain is front and center, uh, and the U.S. Uh, Mr. Barack Obama is going with the royalty there and not with the people, unlike the other spots. Um, got another article here from the Gazette which talks more specifically about the, the Bahrain uprising and, and what's going on, and that's a good read. Um, and it just sort of talks about how there's no turning back for either side at this point, that the, uh, the royal family is putting their foot down, and the, the people are uh, putting their foot down too. So wherever that's going to wind up, it's going to wind up. Now, what's interesting is a couple days ago, there was a some some information circulating that Bahrain had started moving tanks and heavy equipment out uh, like around the I guess the royal palace or whatever and you know they were like seriously preparing to take on the protesters here's an article um, off a site where the Bahrain people are claiming that the tanks were not Saudi Arabian apparently I guess there was that was part of the rumor that the Saudis had sent them basically military reinforcements the Bahrain people are saying that they were not, in fact, Saudi Arabian tanks. They were Bahrain tanks, though, and their excuse is, or their story, is that the tanks were coming back from Kuwaiti National Day celebrations. Now, I don't buy that. I'm sorry. Even if they were at some sort of celebrations or something, so they just happened to pull them back front and center in the middle of everything that's going on? Mm-mm. Doesn't float with me. Okay. So here's where it gets a little tricky because we're, we're seeing that the Obama administration is deciding to back the royal family of Bahrain and support them and, and not support the people. But, you know, it's really interesting because when I do some research, Bahrain only produces 40,000 barrels of oil a day. Now, in comparison to, say, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia produces 4 million barrels barrels of oil a day. 40,000, 4 million. So I just thought that was a really uh, interesting uh, factoid there. Um, I'm going to drop a another article from Seeking Alpha, and this is a really in-depth oil article. If you drop down towards the bottom, you'll see some information on Saudi Arabia and Bahrain and, and Iran and some of those other guys. You might want to read through that. Um, the point is with that is that there's definitely some other stuff going on here. You know, there's some other political maneuvers involved. Um, is Obama using Bahrain as a buffer to Saudi Arabia? Perhaps. That, that might be it. But, I mean, obviously, 
it doesn't make sense that you would support completely a country that's producing 40,000 barrels when that's like, you know, a pea drop in the uh, pool. Anyway, okay, so that's the info that I, I dug up, um, and hopefully it clears up a few things for y'all, and everybody should definitely keep track of all this, and don't forget that we are keeping our eyes uh, uh, open for the next week or so for the March 11th, when uh, it's supposed to be the day of rage in Saudi Arabia. Alright, don't want this one to get too long. Later, YouTube.